What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. Just another quick update with some good news regarding the KISS TNC radios from VGC and BTEC. In my last video I mentioned that one of the things that isn't working is WinLink, but a new firmware has come out with some fixes for that and I can confirm that WinLink is working through Wode and that's what we'll be going over in today's video. So for this test, my setup is the VGC VRN76 connected to my Android phone, which will be the sending station. Now each station will need different call signs, so I'm just using a test call sign of N1 call for the sending station, and the receiving station will be using N0 call. And I'll just hop on the frequency I'm using and throw my actual call sign out before the test. Now I don't have any WinLink gateways close enough for me to test with, so I've set up my own listening station using Pat WinLink on a Raspberry Pi running DigiPi, and that's connected to my ICOM 705, which will be acting as the server and will receive the message. So Pat WinLink is set up as a listener and is ready to go. Now the Android side still needs to be set up though, so we can go ahead and walk through that side of things. Before we get into that though, there's a new menu item on the radio itself with this latest firmware update. So hit the green menu button on the radio, then select general settings, and go down to APR settings and select that. And now we have a new menu item on the radio labeled enable KISS. So now whenever we want to use the KISS mode, we have to go into the radio's menu and enable this. And if your radio isn't showing up in whatever app you're using like APRS Droid or WOD, this will be the first place you want to check and make sure that this is turned on. So now on to the Android settings. So first we need to create a session that will use our KISS TNC radio. So tap on the three dot menu on the top right, select sessions, then select the three dot menu on the bottom right and select add. For the session name I'll just call mine VGC test. Now tap on protocol and we need to select packet for this one. And the type should be outgoing. Now we can go ahead and tap on settings. Now we need to enter in a destination address, so go ahead and tap on that. Now the RMS channel selection is where you would select a WinLink gateway near you, but since I don't have one near me, we're going to be doing a peer-to-peer -peer connection, so we'll just leave this as is. For the destination call sign, we need to enter in the call sign of the receiving station, which in my case, this is going to be N0 call. And since this is a peer-to-peer -peer connection, we'll use an SSID of zero. So we're good there now and can go back a screen. Now for TNC type, we want KISS selected. Next tap on TNC configuration, then connection type should be Bluetooth. Then tap on connection configuration, then device, which will give us a list of all the Bluetooth devices paired to the phone. And we'll go and select the VRN76 since that's what we're using for this test. Now we can go and go back a screen. Make sure device manufacturer is set to generic. Then we can go back a screen. And it looks like all the settings are where we want them to be and we can go and go back a screen again. And the last thing we'll do is make sure message transfer is send and receive. So we're good there and we can go and go back one more screen. And now here we have our session all ready to go. Now let's go and compose a message to send to the listening station by tapping on the pencil on the top right. For the recipient, we'll enter in the call sign of the receiving station, which in my case is N0 call for this test. Then for the subject, we'll just put in VGC test. Then for the message, we'll get super creative and put in test for YouTube. Now we'll go ahead and put that in our outbox by tapping on this icon on the bottom right here of the box with the arrow. So now we have that message in our outbox and ready to go. Now let's go back to sessions by tapping on the three dot menu on the top right, then select sessions. Tap on the session we just created if it isn't already highlighted in purple. And once that's highlighted, we can hit the play button on the bottom right to start the session and have the radios connect to each other. 
So here we can see they're communicating for the initial exchange. Now it's sending the messages. And now on the Pat Winlink interface, we can see we have the message in the inbox. So there you have it. Winlink is now working with Wode. I also tested this with Radio Mail, and that one isn't working yet, but I'm sure it won't be long before that one works as well. Now, if you'd like to pick up one of these radios, be sure to check out my affiliate links in the video description below so you can pick one up for yourself. And if you go with the VGC model, be sure to use our coupon code of TCC for $10 off your order. That'll do it for this video, and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss out on any future videos on these radios and more. Thank you all, and have a good one.